Uh, the, my channel is on the uh, whiteboard there. Okay, now we are live. Let me say hello to everybody on YouTube. Hi, everybody at the web school. How are you doing? Happy Chinese New Year. Um, in the first half of our workshop, um, Victoria has taught you how to write Chinese with the brush, right? We're going to use the same brush to paint. This is what we say in Chinese, 书画同源, Chinese calligraphy and painting of the same origin, because we use the same tools, the same concept of strokes. You have learned basic strokes, that's great. So that's, um, to save time, I just go through quickly the evolution of uh, Chinese characters, or the etymology of the Chinese characters for um, dark. You have, you have just seen the different styles, the, the print style, the walking style, rainy style, right? This is what, can you read the Chinese? Oracle, Oracle bone style. Yeah, there's the total shell, carved on total shell is the Oracle bone. The earliest uh, Chinese character written in, on Oracle Bone. Yeah, it looks like a dog. This is the character dog. Yeah. In, Chin in today's Chinese, Quan. Okay, can you still relate to that? Yeah. When the ancient Chinese created the, this word, this uh, pictograph, based on the image of the dog, they have to use very minimal stroke. So what do you think the characteristic of a dog? Like What's has a tail? Yes, very good. Wow. So that's wow. the key. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important. That distinguishes dog from other animals. So if you, you know, like a tiger or, or um, rat. So the tail is curved up, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the key. So when you paint a dog, make sure the tail is going up. Like waiting, okay. Chill cannot be going down. Yeah, also the big ears. The big ear. And, uh, uh, what's this? Go. 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 Go is a pet animal, right? But, Chen could be uh, oh, the right. kind of. Yeah, so all the animals today have this Chen radical. This is a radical for long. Mao, Xiong, uh, <laughs> or not Xiong, <laughs> uh, some many other animals, right? Mao, fox, you know, like a, um, that kind of dark kind of animal. So always this is radical. With the, the pet dog, we add a little. This is a G, uh, like a uh, period in, in, in oh, yeah. Period. But the original this character is like a. A curved dog, sleeping dog. A curved dog, okay. A curved uh, body of, you know, of the dog when the dog is sleeping, right? So this is a, like a dog sleeping. This is, this is a jumping dog, all right? You might notice that they use only like a four or five characters, uh, strokes. So we try to paint the same way uh, first. Let me show you how to do this, okay? So you can use uh, ink as a uh, color. You can use a little ink diluted <laughs> to get uh, a, You may have the water um, you, you use for washing. The brush, that's good already. So you use light ink to paint, huh? let me get my ink close by. Where to start? The first stroke is the ear. So I'm doing a um, like a Snoopy kind of dog. Okay. So one stroke for the. Two stroke, right? That's the head. And uh, third stroke, the, the front foot, the 
body, the back, and then the back, the back foot. You can you can make it a little uh, foot like that. Just a, you know, stop, and then the fifth stroke, the tail. Oh, that's the fourth. I'm sorry. The last stroke is the eye. Okay. You can start to a little rounder. Make a smile. Do you want to try? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dark ink. Dark ink for the the eye. Light ink for the. Other parts, okay. <laughs> okay, we're still live. Should I take it up? <laughs> so you can start yes. talking. Yes. Oh, oh, he's live. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <Holy crap. laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you. Is your live chat?